Okay, let's go over how to use ThingLink. We're going to create a infographic of the Super Bowl with some interactive elements inside of the ThingLink. I'm currently logged in. I'm going to choose an image to use as my backdrop. Notice you can upload, you can use a web address, you can import a Facebook picture, or you can use public images from Flickr. Click on that blue button, and I already have a image file that I've saved on my desktop. SB for Super Bowl. I'm going to click open and my image is now being uploaded into ThingLink. The image is now in ThingLink. The title is my interactive image so let's go ahead and click on the top and rename it. You'll notice the plus or minus sign. I can increase the size of my image or just use the fit button to have it fit the backdrop of my canvas. I have some resources that I want to add into this thing link. You'll notice that each of these um, resources are called a tag. So on the thing link it says click to add a tag. Wherever I click on my image will be where that tag is located. So let's go ahead and start with Cam Newton. I'm going to click on Cam's helmet. And it is a circle, a black circle, but I can change the type of icon. This is only available in the premium feature. If you don't have the premium, you still get access to icons, just not all the icons. So I'm going to go with this blue star and I'm going to upload this image of Betty White doing the Cam Newton dance. Okay, so I'm going to copy the link from YouTube. I'm going to go back to my thing link and I'm going to type in the web address. And then for the on-screen text, I'm going to actually write Cam Newton Dance. And you can highlight and change the font style that you have. You can also hide the bubble or pin the icon. It's up to you. I'm going to leave these on because I want the icon there and I want the bubble to pop up. So now that my tag is ready, I'm going to click Save Tag. So you'll notice this tag is now available. I can rearrange it just by clicking on the tag and dragging with my mouse. I'm going to leave it on the helmet. Let's go ahead and add another tag. This time let's add a tag for Peyton Manning. So I'm going to click on his helmet. I'm going to change the icon. I'm going to go to this article that um, was written on ESPN. I'm going to click on the article, copy the link, go back to my thing link, paste the link, title it ESPN article. And again, same thing, I can hide the bubble, I can pin the icon, I can hide the icon, I'm going to leave all that in there. The click action, you can set it so that it opens in a new tab or the same tab, I'm just going to leave it on automatic. And now that my tag is ready, I'm going to save tag. So let's go ahead and add a few more tags. For the next tag, I'm going to add historical statistics from the Super Bowl from NFL.com. So I'm going to copy this link, go back to my thing link. This time, let's put the tag on the trophy. Change the icon. Paste the web address and then text historical stats. For this one, let's actually pin the icon. And if you're not sure what it, that means, that means the icon is always visible to the user. So some of these icons won't be visible until the user hover over that area. But for this one, let's have it always visible. And then let's save the tag. So we're going to add uh, two more tags. One is going to be a YouTube video. This is a short documentary on Cam Newton, so I'm going to copy that. Let's add another icon right there. Let's change the icon. Paste the link. And this time, let's also uh, leave it as a pinned icon. Click save. 
And the last one is a short biography on Peyton Manning. So again, copy the link, click somewhere that you want to add this tag, paste the link, title the link, and this time let's take off pinned icon. And you'll notice this um, hide bubble. That means when you hover over the tag, you have a bubble that comes up showing you a preview of that tag's resource. Let's go ahead and hide the bubble for this one and save. Now that we have our tag set, we're ready to save this image. I'm going to click the green save button. And you can see these tags. So when I hover over this one, you have the ESPN article. When I hover over this one, you have the historical stats. When I hover over this, you actually see a preview of the video. Same thing right here. And when I hover over this one, because I hid the bubble, it actually doesn't show anything. So when I click here, it opens the resource, which was the Peyton Manning biography. So let's go ahead and close those out. So now that my thing link is ready, I can use this share button to share it directly with my students by giving them this link, or I can embed it into Haiku or another resource by using this embed code. And I can also click post, which provides me with a individual channel for my account. So all the thing links that I create will post to that channel. So that is how you create with Thing link. And if I ever want to add or remove tags, I can just click this pencil and go back and edit this thing link. So that's how you create with thing link and share it out with your students.